Okay, so... And if there's still some left over, I just dump it on the hood, and I use ethanol and a paper towel to clean it up. Although I guess that depends on your type of saw. If it's hazardous or not. So we use actually 0.25%, it's hard to tell I guess, disposable pipette, and we use the one mil. Actually I touched this, so it wasn't bad. Make sure not to touch the edges so you can use the same pipette. But you don't have to. You can just use another one. Disposable for a reason. And close the cap. Close these caps. And then try to evenly spread it out. So what you'd like to do is go to one corner, spread it to the other. Go to the other corner and spread it over. 
and you can actually see the quality of the video won't be good enough to see it but you'll see a film going over the uh, cell layer and then just incubate for about two to three minutes I find that for T-175s, uh, three minutes is better. For T-25s, uh, uh, two minutes is better. And for T-25s, I use 0 0.25 milliliters of trypsin. Returning things back to the fridge. And of course, spray everything when you bring things into the hood. Um, make sure to spray the cap very liberally. Still have about a minute, minute and a half left to get the T-175s out of the incubator. Um, note is, I don't centrifuge myself to get rid of trypsin. Trypsin is naturally deactivated by the media, the bovin serum. And uh, because I use so little trypsin in such a small concentration, um, the amount of media that I introduce in act deactivates the trypsin. Also, in this case, normally I split 1 to 20, but in this, I will be splitting 1 to 30. So I don't have enough flask here. So I have about 30 seconds to a minute. We set the timer real fast. And when I take my T175s out of the incubator, um, I will hit the sides of the flask to physically dislodge, help physically dislodge the cells. And you can hold it up to the light, which you should, and see the layer actually sl uh, sliding off of the flask. And if it doesn't, just incubate a bit more or hit it a bit harder. Although I'd suggest just incubating for maybe 30 seconds to another minute. I'm using D10 D10. So again, here, you can just hit the sides, and then, uh, I can't show this part, but you want to hold, try to get the trypsin to cover the layer again, and just hold up one of the flasks of the light, and you should see the cell layer slobbing off. What should I do? So, to deactivate it, I'll need... Pipe and I use a 25 milliliter pipette tip. And again, just spray everything. So I will need, let's see. 40, 550 milliliters in each flask. So that's 35 times, which makes sense. I'm just unscrewing the cap right now. You can use the same pipette tip to put D10 media into the flask. Just make sure that you don't touch anything with the tip. And I don't think I can show this. I'm going to try to raise the hood a little to adjust my camera. You 
You want to try your best to not touch the tip to anything. If you do, I mean, it's no big loss. You can just use a different pipette tip. This is 90. And keep replacing the cap. Or not replace, but put the cap back on. It's on top of the flask. It's 120. This should be 150. And just to check, I'm going to put this side. Yep, 150. Okay. And then I'm dripping a little, but kind of do this to get all the cells off and make sure it's all deactivated and I'm going to go to the next flask. I want to work a little bit quickly here so that it trips and doesn't kill too many cells. And again, I'm using so much media that the one milliliter of trypsin will deactivate and centrifuging is not entirely necessary. That's dirty. I usually add a little more than 30. I usually 30.5 or 31 milliliters with the, every pull. That is 90. Okay. Just so that when it bubbles and stuff, I'll have enough to make sure that I can get 5 milliliters. 120. This is. And I don't care about the tip now. This is 150. I'm going to. Uh, I spilled a little, but close the cap on my medium. Put it aside for now. And then I'm going to put this back into pipette cover and use it for later. Right away. So again, just want to. Cover it, get the cells off. And now I'm just gonna label. I might edit this out. If I have editing editing materials. And the cell should be fine. I also stood them upright to prevent them from adhering to forming a monolayer. But it takes them a while, so there's not as much of a rush as to deactivate them the first time. And I pretty much, for organization, I write the passage number on the side of the flask. And any other information that I would want to record, I write on the top of the flask. This is just to keep things organized. I don't date things necessarily, simply because I can write on a post-it and stick it on the incubator of the number of the passage and the date that I split. And I don't need those for right now. Or I guess I do. If I don't edit this, you can always just fast forward it. And I'm clumsy. Put this back. Bring my hands.
and I really hope I'm catching all of this on the camera. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pet and I'm going to put it in into here and draw up and kind of circle, uh, circle around the bottom. I'm going to push it against the bottom of the flask while dispensing it. And this is to get any large clumps of self and break them up to get a more uniform. Uh, you don't need to do this too many times, maybe like four or five times. Just swirl around, try to get up the big clumps and push against the bottom to break up any. Make sure not to draw any liquid into your pipetter as that will break it. Okay. Leave that for right now. And then we'll take a stack. And I'm going to take off all the caps in one stack. And make sure to put your caps down on the hood, and this is to prevent, because you should already have sprayed your hood. And if you make a, if you spill anything, make sure to use ethanol and uh, spray it down again. And take off all the caps on the flask. Put it in a line. Get my pipe pattern. It might be hard to see simply because the camera is not at a good angle. So. This is 10, I'll take 25, and my pet is not properly attached. Let's do that harder. And just rapidly dispense five. You don't need to be so careful about the meniscus, because as long as you're consistent in the how and where you dispense compared to the, uh, to the line, um, you will dispense roughly the same amount. So. I'm going to change my tip after this. Okay, I'm going to change the tip of this because I think I touched the side of the flask. I'm going to just put the caps all back on. I'm going to throw this away. Another one. Spray it again with a little and just two at a time. Just close the caps. At least you don't have to do it two at a time. I just do because I have big hands. together. Make sure not to get any of the media into the tip or the cap, especially if you have filter caps, because that will ruin the filter. And then kind of circle it around a bit, and this is to make sure that the media covers the entire bottom of the flask. Get a nice uniform monolayer later, and just put it off to the side. It'll be fine. And then start the process again. Take up all the caps. For all intents and purposes, I'll just be showing the one flask because I think it'll have gotten 20 by now. And drop the 25. Five here. Five here. There I am dripping a little, so that's not good. I'll have to clean up my hood again. 
but I think that's it for the demonstration. Close this. Just back into the cover and put the caps on. Okay, and that's it. See you later.